In this video, let me consider few numericals on delta functions. Evaluate the following integrals. Here, four integrals are given. We are supposed to find their values. So, before solving these numericals, let me explain few important functions of delta. That is, we know that delta of t is equal to 1 when t is equal to 0. That is, it means that delta t is defined only at t equal to 0 and its value is 0 when t is not equal to 0. We should know this. The another property of the delta function that is delta of t minus t naught that is shifted version of this delta t which is shifted by value of t naught its value is equal to 1 when t is equal to t naught and its value is 0 when t is not equal to when t is not equal to t naught the another property of delta function is delta of a t that is scaling function is equal to 1 over a delta of t we should know this property and another very important property is delta of say integral a to b function f of t delta t dt is equal to f of 0 if a and b contains 0 and its value is 0 if a to b does not contain 0. Here it means that here the integration varies from a to b f of t is a function delta t dt its value is as we know delta t is defined only for t equal to 0. So, it's this function value is f of 0 if a b that is a to b contains 0 because here we can see that delta is delta t is defined only for t equal to 0. If 0 is in between these two integrals then only its value is f of 0. If 0 value is out of this limit then we can say that its value is 0. One should remember these all four properties so that we can easily solve the given numericals. Now let me consider the first integral that is integration minus 1 to 1 t square by 2 plus 5 delta of t. Let me write that. first one integration minus 1 to plus 1 we have t square by 2 plus 5 delta t into dt. Let me simplify this. As I said here when we compare with this expression uh, with fourth property here f of t is nothing but t square by 2 plus 5. As we know here delta t, delta t exists only for t equal to 0. So, here delta t is equal to 1 for t equal to 0. So, here we can see that 0 is in between minus 1 to plus 1. That is in the range minus 1 to plus 1 in between we will get 0. So, its value is f of 0 that as, as I said here f of 0 if a b contains 0. So, here 0 is in between minus 1 to plus 1. So, it is defined only for t equal to 0 and at t equal to 0 its function is f of 0. It means that this value is equal to t square by 2 plus 5 when t is equal to 0 because it is defined only for t is equal to 0. Simplifying this I can write 0 by 2 plus 5 which is equal to 5. So, this is the answer for this. Now, let me consider the second numerical in this that is
इंटीग्रेशन माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू इन्फिनिटी ई पावर माइनस टू टी डेल्टा ऑफ टू टी माइनस वन डी टी दिस इज द गिवन इंटीग्रल नाउ लेट मी सिंप्लीफाई दिस दिस कैन ऑल्सो बी रिप्रेजेंटेड एज इंटीग्रेशन माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू इन्फिनिटी ई पावर माइनस टू टी डेल्टा ऑफ आई विल राइट इट एज आई विल टेक दिस टू आउट ऑफ द ब्रैकेट आई विल राइट इट एज टू टी माइनस वन बाय टू विच इज सेम एज दिस वन सो हियर नाउ कंपेर दिस विद दिस प्रॉपर्टी दैट इज डेल्टा ऑफ ए टी इज इक्वल टू वन ओवर ए डेल्टा ऑफ टी सो कंपेरिंग दिस विद दिस एक्सप्रेशन हियर वी कैन सी दैट ए इज इक्वल टू टू देर फोर आई कैन राइट इट एज इंटीग्रेशन माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू इन्फिनिटी ई पावर माइनस टू टी सो दिस इज वन ओवर ए दैट इज वन ओवर टू डेल्टा ऑफ टी माइनस वन बाय टू सो नाउ हियर वन बाय टू इज कॉन्स्टेंट आई विल टेक आउट ऑफ द इंटीग्रल आई कैन राइट इट एज वन बाय टू इंटीग्रेशन माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू इन्फिनिटी ई पावर माइनस टू टी डेल्टा ऑफ टी माइनस वन बाय टू हियर इट इज डी टी आई फॉरवर्ड टू राइट इट इज डी टी सो नाउ हियर वी कैन सी दैट एफ ऑफ टी हियर द फंक्शन इज नाउ इट इज ऑफ फॉर्म प्रॉपर्टी फोर दैट इज एफ ऑफ टी डेल्टा ऑफ टी सो हियर वी कैन सी दैट सो एफ ऑफ टी वैल्यू इज ई पावर माइनस टू टी एंड डेल्टा ऑफ टी माइनस वन बाई टू सो हियर डेल्टा ऑफ टी माइनस वन बाई टू इट्स वैल्यू इज वन वेन टी इज इक्वल टू वन बाई टू बिकॉज here we can see that property number 2 here delta of t minus t not its value is 1 when t is equal to t not similarly here delta of t minus 1 by 2 its value is 1 when t is equal to half so in that case its value will be is equal to this 1 by 2 i will write as it is and here the function is e power minus 2t and it is defined when t is equal to 1 by 2 that is when t is equal to 1 by 2 so simplifying this i will get 1 by 2 e power minus 2 into 1 by 2 which is nothing or i can write it as 1 by 2 e power minus 1 which is equal to 1 upon 2e so this is the answer for second integral problem now let me consider the third one integration minus 3 to minus 1 e power minus t delta of t dt so here again it is of the form property 4 that is a to b e power minus t delta t here the function is e power f of t is e power minus t so here we can see that delta of t is defined only for t equal to 0 when we take t equal to 0 in between minus 3 to minus 1 0 does not exist because minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 after that 0 will come so this 0 is not in between minus 3 to minus 1 so according to this property 4 when 0 if ab does not contain 0 so here ab is nothing but minus 3 to minus 1 does not contain 0 therefore the value of this function is 0 here i can justify here zero minus 3 to minus 1 does not contain zero therefore value of integral is Zero. Therefore, its value is zero. Consider the fourth numerical. That is integration one to two t square delta of two t minus three dt plus 
माइनस थ्री टू थ्री डेल्टा ऑफ थ्री टी प्लस फाइव डी टी सो यर नाउ फर्स्ट लेट मी कंसिडर द फर्स्ट पार्ट दट इज आई विल सिंप्लीफाई द फर्स्ट पार्ट फर्स्ट दट इज वन टू टू टी स्क्वेर डेल्टा ऑफ टू टी माइनस थ्री डी टी आई विल राइट इट एज इंटीग्रेशन वन टू टू टी स्क्वेर डेल्टा ऑफ आई विल टेक टू आउट ऑफ द ब्रैकेट दैट इज टू टी माइनस थ्री बाय टू सो दिस कैन इंटर्न रिटर्न एज वन टू टू टी स्क्वेर डेल्टा ऑफ ए टी इज इक्वल टू वन ओवर ए डेल्टा ऑफ टी दैट इज वन ओवर टू डेल्टा ऑफ टी माइनस थ्री बाय टू डी टी हेयर ऑल्सो इट इज डी टी सो दिस कैन फर्दर रिटर्न एज हेयर आई विल टेक वन ऑफ टू आउट ऑफ द इंटीग्रल वन बाय टू इंटीग्रेशन वन टू टू इट इज टी स्क्वेर डेल्टा ऑफ टी माइनस थ्री बाय टू डी टी सो हियर वी कैन ऑब्जर्व दैट डेल्टा ऑफ टी माइनस थ्री बाय टू exist only at t equal to 3 by 2 that is 1.5 so here 1.5 is within the range 1 to 2 because 1.5 is in between 1 to 2 therefore the function of this is defined only at t equal to 1 1.5 so this can be simplified as is equal to 1 over 2 t square at t is equal to 1.5 so simplifying this i will get 1 by 2 into 1.5 square its value is given as it is 1.125 so now let me consider this part that is integration minus 3 to 3 delta of 3t plus 5 dt which is also can be written as minus 3 to 3 delta of i can write 3 t plus 5 by 3 dt or i can write it as integration minus 3 to 3 delta of that is 1 over 3 delta of t Minus of minus five by three dt. So here we can see that delta of t minus of minus five by three. It means that this delta this function is defined only for when t is t value is minus five by three. So minus five by three. If we do the calculation, we'll get it as one point six six. That is minus one point six six. So minus one point six is is within the range minus three to three. Therefore, the value one one by three only remains. So its value is equal to one by three. This is the final one. This is the answer. Now let me add these two. Therefore, here I will write is equal to first answer is one point one two five, one point one two five plus one by three. Simplifying this, we'll get one point. Four five eight. This is the final answer. Thank you for watching.